Our second movement in the three-part series is the marching drill. Dr. Hernandez, can you tell us why we should do this drill and what would be the desired effect or result as of doing it for the triathlon? Absolutely. We do this drill to help improve running form and technique. What it calls upon, too, is for us to really work on our single leg balance and our postural control, and this will carry over into running. So what I'm going to have Jonathan do is to march, lifting one knee and one opposite arm, and continue this pattern going forward. So the key with the arms is making sure that you're not bringing one arm too far forward. Pretend as if you're going to punch somebody right here in the front as you're elbowing somebody here through the back. You want to make sure that you're standing up nice and tall. So it's kind of like that boxing game. And extending the knee that you're standing on. The key is to make sure that you're not having any excessive wobble here, and Jonathan's doing a great job at this drill. What we'll do in the class as well to challenge us is to increase the pace or cadence in which we are performing this. But one thing that we like to do too to challenge Jonathan is I would load him up with some kettlebells and attempt the same drill. Awesome. We're going to continue the same drill, but now he's loaded equally on each side, each side to further challenge him. <laughs> one thing that runners don't get a lot as well, especially triathletes through cycling and swimming, is we don't get a lot of axial load. So we don't have a lot of load going through the spine, especially with swimming and cycling. So we want to make sure that we do that here while you're in the class. And as you can tell, it gets a little bit more difficult as you add load to this exercise to maintain a good single leg balance. But Jonathan's handling this one well. What is the reason we want to focus on our quads and calves with this reverse sled pull? So one of the loads we incur with running is the rate in which we load our limb as we're stepping through. So an important component to that is to practice or work on your power. And that can come through plyometric drills. But what you're talking about, what we're going to demonstrate here, really focuses on the lower leg and the calf area, which was, is very important for propulsion as we run. We need a good solid base to push off of. Um, and that's what we'll mimic here with this drill. So Dr. Hernandez is going to be facing the sled. She's going to get up on her toes. Okay, full extension of the arms, hips out, and then just pull, walk backwards with it. It's a pretty simple movement, but it blasts the calves and blasts the quads. Join in our six week program, it's going to be twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Check the link in the caption for, the, for some more information. Uh, what are some of the things that people can look forward to in this six week program? So what we're really focusing on, like we discussed earlier, is to teach you the appropriate techniques that you need to help strengthen. We're also going to work on some really effective plyometric drills that help build power. And then, of course, we're going to focus on running form and technique through several drills that, you'll run, that we will run you through. Who's teaching it? Both of us. Oh, so two doctors. So what I think is important, even though it's in a CrossFit gym, this is not CrossFit. This is ge geared specifically for the runner, for the triathlete, in order to improve. We won't be doing any gymnastic stuff. We're going to be doing squats, deadlifts, some hang power cleans. We're going to be doing some single limb stuff, all to help you improve while reducing your risk of injury.